This video looks at another application of combinations, and that is subsets. To understand subsets, you first have to know what a set is. A set is just a collection of elements. Uh, the elements can be anything. They can be numbers, letters, symbols. Uh, they can represent different things. Um, for instance, uh, they, they, a subset would be 1, 2, A, B. So the four elements of this subset would be 1, 2, A, and B. And so, or of this set would be... Uh, 1, 2, A, and B, and that is just a four-element set. A subset is a collection of elements from that same set. For, for a, another set to be a subset of a set, then it has to have elements only from the original set. So, for instance, 1 and 2 would be a subset of our um, element, but 1, 2, and 3 would not be a subset because 3 is not in the original set 1, 2, A, B. Um, so that's what makes something a subset. Two important things to know about subsets is that uh, a set itself is a, considered a subset of itself, which is a little confusing. So 1, 2, A, B is a subset of 1, 2, A, B. Um, and then you always have what's referred to as the empty set, um, which is a, su a set that has no elements in it. Uh, we, refer to, we write the empty set like this to set symbols without anything in there, or occasionally we'll include a zero with a line through it which tells us there is nothing in it. We can't put a zero in there because a zero is a, a number, it would be an element, um, and so zero would not be a subset of 1, 2, A, and B. Uh, but a zero through a line through it says there are no elements in this set. A couple of facts. The first fact is you, consider, you can consider subsets um, as if each element is either on or off. So if you consider the set 1, 2, 3, 4, well, the subset 1, 2 would just be 1 being on, 2 being on, 3 being off, 4 being off. So every subset, um, you're just trying to think of, do I have 1 in it or do I not have 1 in it? Do I have 2 in it or do I not have 2 in it? Do I have 3? Do I not have 3? Do I have 4? Do I not have 4? If they were all off, then that would be the empty set. If they were all on, that would be the set itself. Because of this, then we can uh, utilize fact number um, the second fact there, which is since each has each element has two options, using the fundamental theorem of counting, there's always going to be two times two times two times two number of subsets, because each subset is just yes or no for each element. So for instance, for this subset, there's going to be two options for the first one, two options for the second one, two options for the third one, two options to the fourth one. So two times two times two times two is 16, or two to the fourth. So there's always two to the n subsets where n is the number of elements. And then if you wanted to get more specific about subsets, you could look at um, how do I know how many subsets that have x elements? Well, this is where combinations come into play. We just want to pick, if we let's say we wanted you know the number of element or number of subsets of that last set that have two elements. We, we just go through and we pick two of them to be on, which then picks two to be off. And so it's just going to be, for that case, four, four elements in the set, and I want to see how many ways can I pick two of them. So four choose two would be the number of two-element subsets. So looking at um, our example, we have a set that has the first seven letters, and it says how many two-element subsets are there? Well, applying that last fact, we just say, well, it's just going to be seven choose two, which is... 7 times 6 over 2 times 1, which is simply 21. So there are 21 two-element subsets. How many subsets contain an A and a B? Well, this problem you could beat your head up against the wall a little bit trying to think of the best way to count these until you realize, well, wait a second, these are just um, automatically in our set, and so we think about A and B automatically being in our subset, and then we look at the other five letters, and we have to choose for each of those, are they on or are they off? That means there's two options for each one. And so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is just 2 to the 5th. And so there actually turns out to be 32 subsets containing A and B because there's 32 ways to pick whether or not C, D, E, F, or G are in that set. Or that set. Um, if you say how many subsets have at least two elements, well, the key here is to say have at least two elements. And so if it's got at least two elements, there's a couple ways to do it. One way to do it would just be to say, okay, 7 choose 2 plus 7 choose 3 plus 7 choose 4 
dot, 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 until you get to 727. And you go through and you do all those calculations. That's The first one is the two element sets, three element sets, four element sets. But the easier way to do it is to remember the two facts. Fact number one says that there's two to the seventh subsets in this. And then fact number two that we need to worry about is we can just subtract away the ones that we're not counting, which are the ones with no elements, and there's one way to get the empty set, and then one element, which would be seven ways to get one element. So 2 to the 7th turns out to be 128. Subtract 1, subtract 7, and you get 120. And so there are 120 ways to have at least two elements.